Well, the Wabash man who police say stabbed his 10 year old son earlier this month and was shot by police officers died over the weekend. ABC 21's Corinne Rose reports about new details just released today. And while investigators say the father's death closes the criminal investigation, the case they say will continue to hunt them for a long time to come. Jeanette Boris Maple in Wabash, 1010 involving a father and son. The father has stabbed the son in the head with a knife. Police say earlier this month, 32-year-old William Sendelbach stabbed his 10-year-old son, Caden. Court documents quote him telling his wife, I killed Caden, I had to. Young Caden was laying in his bed and he had he did indeed have uh, Spider-Man sheets on his bed. He was sleeping when William allegedly pulled him out of the bed and stabbed him in the head. Anytime someone loses their life, it's a tough scene for our officers. Then you, you exasperate that or even magnify it more when it's someone as young as 10 years of age. The mom was able to grab her two younger children and run to safety. Police say Sindelbach then fired a shotgun into a neighbor's parked car as well as a passing garbage truck before shooting at them as they got there, hitting a Wabash sergeant in the leg. Officer shot, officer shot, 294 East Maple. Officer shot at 294 East Maple, 294 East Maple. The sergeant returned fire with another officer, hitting Sindelbach several times. William Sendelbach died Saturday from those wounds, and the Wabash County prosecutor cleared officers of any wrongdoing. Prosecutor Harley did say Wabash City Police Departments acted appropriately uh, in defending their lives. In a matter of fact, saying they acted heroically in responding to the, the domestic situation that they did on October 8th. Police say evidence in the home showed Sendelbach had drawn pentagrams that he called devil traps on surfaces in the home, but he apparently never told detectives why he killed his son. He understood that what he did was wrong. As far as uh, offering some remorse, uh, he, is not, he had not done that uh, prior to his death. If Sendelbach had survived his wounds and been convicted of murder and two counts of attempted murder, prosecutors had wanted him to be sentenced to life without parole. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.